Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Final Fantasy 1. Now I'm at the vampire room in the Terra Cave, uh, like I said I would be. So we need to go to the right of here and then up to get to where we need to use that rod that we just got from the sage uh, last episode to get to, well, the next level in this dungeon. Um, I didn't gain any levels on the way down here. I'm close. I am very close. Uh, I did have to use a bit of potions and some antidotes, but uh, I ran into one group of cockatrices and I ran from them because there were six of them, and I was like, nope, I'm out. A stone plate rests on the floor. It seems to emanate an evil force. All right, so we got to come in here and go to key item and earth rod. What a sound effect. Down we go! Alright, so we're on the fourth level now, and there are two treasure rooms. One of them is kind of on the way, not exactly, and one of them is the complete opposite direction of the of the stairs that we need to take to get to the next floor. Alright, so I'm using a level two spell here, or yeah, a level three spell, excuse me, because uh, I'm being stun locked. Uh, things were going pretty good here, use a Dia spell as well. And this should take care of them. Yeah, these these whites and gas, they're kind of super annoying. They don't do much damage, but they can lock you down real fast. Oh, Mink gave the level two, good. Got some good HP anyways. Uh I don't think I'll Eh, maybe I'll use a potion here. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't think we need anything else for now. Probably want to do that. Well, shortly. Um, I think the bottom path is where we want to go, but we want to go to the treasure room. Enemy encounters are roughly the same here. The couple of set points for uh, encounters will be, I think, those Noma guys. G Goblin guards? Have we run into those guys before here? Werewolves are, are not new, or neither are Goblin guards. Goblin Guards are, generally speaking, right outside Parvoka, where we get the ship. So, and they're they're like right above uh, Cornelia as well, so I'm kind of surprised that these guys are here. They don't have that much HP. Damn, I wish this was a little later in the game that we run into something like this. Uh, when we get actually like an item we could use to heal ourselves, uh, like a piece of equipment. That'd be nice. There might be one or two new encounters down. Jesus Christ. Um, you know what? Nah. Like, nah. I don't wanna. <laughs> I can't cast that many Dia spells, for one. And two. Really? They're just gonna stunlock me, so let's get out of here. They don't even give that much experience. Really? Okay. Well, at least Thief got away. Alright, that bat is in an awful position. But it actually is fine now. So in front of these two chests are set encounters. So be careful of that. Ooh, a staff. How horrible. Now, to the right of the bottom chest is a set encounter. But also, in front of the chest to the left is a set encounter. So we're pretty much stuck. Oh, the Sphinx! Okay, so these guys are new enemies. Good miss. I probably... Mm. Yeah, we're fine. Just keep focusing fire. The bottom one is dead. It should be dead. Tella! I know you're a sage and everything like that, even though you're not actually a sage in this game. But could you actually do a little bit more physical damage? Could you hit? Well, Ryu's the only one that hit. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. There you go, buddy. 580 experience points? That's pretty good. Tell again to level. Got 5,450 gil. That's great. And, uh, slightly more gill. Alright, let's get out of here. Now, there is another treasure room. And it is all the way to the bottom of this place. On the bottom left of this place. 
And the exit is actually on... Really? Good God. Ryu, I really like that if you actually could just maybe leave. Thank you, Vint. Actually, probably, probably definitely heal. Uh, but the exit, yeah, is in the northern uh, left side, uh, northwest side of the map. So we got to go in the opposite direction of uh, of the exit, which is very unfortunate. But it is what it is. I believe there is a... Actually, you know what? No, there are no mandatory encounters down there either. All right, so let's see. We want to come... Here? Well, we could go all the way to the bottom, like right here, and then up a little bit, I believe. Well, cockatrices, that's very unfortunate as well. Good block. Run. Thank you. If it was like four of them, I'd give it a shot, but six of them is a little much. Wraiths, on the other hand, uh, not that big of a deal. I only got like 100 HP each. Not even, I think I have like 70. 75? Well, definitely m more than 58, right? Oh, we got another uh, level up for blue, agility and luck, and three HP. Was that really it? That's horrible. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, I was calling these guys Psycho Demons. I think that I think they're actually just called Pisco Demons. I think Psycho Demons more accurate to what they are, right? They're like a demi mind flayer type deal. They're not mind flayers. They're like below mind flayers. We'll be running into Mind Flayers later. And they suck. Why do they suck, Kron? Oh, they one-shot you. Well, they have a chance to one-shot you. Not a spell, either. It's their basic attack. <laughs> their basic attack can just instantly kill you. It's kind of rough. You're right. All right. So, in front of the, uh, the two chests up there are set encounters. To the right of this chest is a set encounter. So, we're just going to go around... And, uh, ooh, Mythical Shield. Did not know we found one of those down here. I should have known that. That's it for the treasure, though, for this area. I kind of wish we had better equipment for the White Mage mints, because that was a lot of damage. And trolls, they do hit hard, but they're not that strong. I don't think we actually... Yeah, we already bought a uh, Mithril Shield, and no one else can equip a Mithril Shield. Which is kind of weird. It's a light armored shield, or a light weight shield. But I guess I didn't need to buy one at Crescent Lake. But then again, with just the bucklers and the the Mithril stuff for the, the warrior... Goodbye. The, uh... Oh my god, you went after the one with the least amount of... Ac like... The chance to hit, you, least, least amount of chance to hit, you went after the White Mage and paralyzed her on your first shot. God damn it, Tella, actually run. Thank you. Yeah, those encounters are a bit, uh, shit. There's too many paralyzing, too much paralyzing, I should say. All right, so let's head straight to the boss room. Oh, let's memo, actually, too, just in case we actually do run into any more shitty encounters. And don't get in our way, Bat. All right, good. It's just a uh, tarantula, really. It's kind of shocking, actually. Another troll. Just one encounter. Not that big of a deal. 46 damage is kind of a big deal. Kind of surprised we don't one-shot the troll with uh, the warrior at this point. I'm not, I'm not gonna complain. Still easy experience. Bat, really? Get out of my way. Get oh bat, oh bat. Some wraiths again. No big deal. Yeah, these bats down here—they don't. 
They don't do any... You didn't kill him? So I guess it is 80 HP that you have. But yeah, you don't... Like, the bats aren't really that big of a deal down here. They just get in your way. Oh, hey, we're up to three hits. That's actually really good. It's actually fantastic. <laughs> uh, with haste, that's going to be a little bit better. Uh, there is what we would call the boss room. So let's get in there real fast and heal up, because we definitely want to. Uh, we want to get the max. I mean, we bought all these potions for a reason, and that is they heal without using our magic. So let's... We could use our level 1 magic right now to heal. We wouldn't... It Their cure spell is just like a potion, so it's not really that helpful. Alright, so what do we want to do here? Um, there's nothing really we can prepare for outside from what are we what are we prepared with, I guess you could say. We have the room blade on blue because I felt like I was doing slightly more damage to the enemies in the area. Um, if it was, I or not, I don't really actually know. It looked like it was, so I put it on. Um, the wor worm kill wasn't doing that much difference. Uh, okay, so who speaks to me? It's me, the Light Warriors. I am the force withholding the power of the Earth. Away with you humans. No. No, 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 no. So this is Lich. He can be a little bit of a dick. He has 800 HP. He does count as a mage and he is undead, so Dia 3 can do some a lot of damage. Now here's the thing. He will spend most of his time casting spells, and like most enemies with these old-fashioned RPGs, they have a kind of a script. So his first spell is gonna be Blizzard or Blizzara or Blizzard 2, Electric Boogaloo, or Ice 2. I forget what it's called in this game. I think it's Ice 2. Yeah, it's, it's Ice 2. Um, we want to haste up the warrior. And then attack and Potentially speaking, if we can get Null Ice off first, we can save ourselves a lot of damage. Now, after he casts his Blizzara or Ice 2, he won't cast another damaging spell for, I think, two casts? I believe the next one's like Sleep and then Haste and then Thundara. So hopefully we get this off first and no one dies. Never mind, it's kind of a waste of a turn. No one did die though, so that's fine. So I'm going to use haste, then I'm going to put on uh, steel for Ryu, just to increase that damage even more. Again, he has uh, 800 HP. Dia 3 could do a ton of damage. So it's tempting. Um, his next damaging spell is going to be Null Bolt. Now, hopefully, he either bitch smacks someone or puts sleep on, like, blue. Tella, that's not great, but it's better than the fighter. Um, alright, so let's go ahead and use a D of 3 to hopefully get 240 damage. He should be dead next turn either way. Hey, that was almost max damage. That's rare. <laughs> but hey, it's dead. Yeah, your main your main business is hasting and stealing the warrior. Now those stack, so you can do those multiple times. Um, you're generally only gonna probably get one off before the boss becomes mush. Whoa! We restored one crystal. Go us. So Crystal, did you give me a full heal or anything like that? Maybe a new job? No, that doesn't happen for a few more uh, Final Fantasies. You didn't heal me either though, so it was just rude. I just saved your ass. 
But it does have a telepad, which is very nice. The vampire could have had a telepad, that would have been nice too, save us some trouble. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and head up to Malmon where our ship is. Okay, so I have healed up and saved, so we're good to go. Bless the crystals indeed. Hey, <laughs> can you be the Light Warriors? No, never heard of them. We're the Turquoise Warriors. Way different. Ah, the Earth Crystal regained its shimmer. How do you know? How do you know that? Did you read the script? Uh, no, we don't know you at all. You'll... I believe we have to talk to you later. Uh, oh, this was the guy! that The Titan in the Cave eats rocks. Precious gems are his favorite. He can eat them forever. This was the guy that told us about the, uh... Of Titan earlier. That's the guy about the Sage. I mean, it hasn't really become vibrant at all. What are you talking about? There's literally no change to this place at all. All right, let's go to Crescent Lake. Or Crescent Town, which is in Crescent Lake. Uh, we went there last episode, but let's go ahead there again. I'll show you on the map, but we'll, we'll do that on, you know, foot for now. So Crescent Lake is over here. So what we want to do is come down and then to the left. As it, it loops. Gotta love a world map that does that. Well, to be fair, that's not really something they did away with, right? There's not that many world maps these days in uh, RPGs, but when there is, and you have free roam like this, they generally make them loop. And there's a shock, doot doo, baby shark. I don't know the song. Why do I keep trying to sing the song? I don't know it. I'm trying to think of the song right now, and I just can't get it. So we're level 14, we're, we're at a good level. I mean, I did run away from more battles than I intended uh, earlier, but I mean, it's just kind of the way of things with the maximum encounters of Ghast and White and Conctatrices, who are just cocks. I think we won't be running into too many of those types of encounters going forward. Now, there are bad encounters. Um, I was talking about the Mind Flayers earlier. They're a little ways away, but they're still coming. Um, and there will be different enemies that will start the battle with like group hitting attacks, but as long as we keep our levels up, we should be fine. Where are we? Oh, we're right near it, actually. So now that we've powered up the Earth Crystal, uh, the person I was talking to earlier, will, that was over here, should give us the canoe. If they don't, something has gone wrong. And I don't know what. But they should. Now, the enemies around here are, I mean, we saw them last episode, pretty much the same level as where we were, but the next couple of dungeons, they are slightly stronger than, well, okay, they're noticeably stronger than the Terra Cavern. Um, they're around the same level, so you can do them at uh, your own pace. But I don't know which one I want to do first. Oh, did I already go buy it? I might have already went by it. I did go buy it. We'll be back here later, though. For sure. Because that's a desert that's just a desert on its own. Of course, it's going to be someplace we have to go to later. Maybe sooner than later. If we ever make it to Crescent. Now, I could have stayed around and fought a couple more uh, ogres or trolls encounters to get, like, 45,000 gil. Which, you know, it would have been nice to get that nice knight armor, but we don't need it, and... I mean, eventually we're going to be able to just kind of get that amount of money with really no issue, so... Maybe one day, but not right now. I mean, we'll be getting good armor anyways from dungeons and other shops. Now these Hoggins are, again, I could probably, we're close enough to town that I could use my spells and not really worry too much about them. But Sahagans, the enemies in the sea, they're pretty weak now and we should be one-shotting them aside from Mint. Mint, Mint's not a physical fighter. Not everyone can be a physical fighter. I mean, technically Tell is not that great of a physical fighter, but he's keeping up with the, you know, with the thief, so who knows? Alright, so, 
let's go, and hopefully we don't get ambushed too many times. If only we had a canoe, we could just row over there now. Trolls, not that big a deal. 24 damage, huh? 24 damage. 70 damage! That's high! That should be it for you. Ah, that's some good money. And I guess we could buy a couple of, like, level 6 spells while we're here. Uh... I don't know if I'm gonna want to do that. I definitely need to restock on potions. Hill Gigases. Kinda surprised... He's alive. Okay, I'm very surprised he's alive. I didn't think they had that much more than 200 HP. Maybe they don't. Maybe I just miscalculated. But yeah, the enemies around here are pretty good experience. And they definitely don't cause that big of a problem. Uh, these are pretty... It's close to the Power Peninsula in terms of uh, encounter, encounter strength around here. And the amount of experience you can gain. Power Peninsula is still more viable if you want to grind out. And it, at these levels, it's way easier to do. It's actually not a problem to do. There are easier places to level up, though, in the future. So... If, if, if that's something you're worried about, just wait. Uh, we'll stay at the inn when I'm done. Because I'm going to want to save. Let's go ahead and buy all of those. We don't need to restock up on you. Um, no, we'll buy three of those. Now we have four, just in case we need it. Now we already have the equipment here, and our weapons are just as good. So, let's go talk to Sage guys over here. We could buy a spell, but we could just wait to. No one can cast them anyways. So, I believe it's you. Well done, White Light Warriors. You defeated the Earth Fiend and restored the Crystal's Light. But by doing so, you have roused the Fire Fiend from its slumber 200 years before its prophesized awakening. Take this canoe. Go to Mount Gulg. Oh, it's not G U L G U. I thought it was. I thought it was G U. And stop the destruction. Whoa, canoe. Guess anything different? <laughs> Destroy it before it starts everything else. I guess they're just mostly just doing, uh, like, yeah, you got this type deal. Okay, I mean, our path isn't set, but sure. Our path is what we make it, pretty much. Yeah, so I think the rest of you guys just pretty much say the same thing. Okay. Alright, well, I'm going to go stay at the end, and that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time. Have a great day!